From far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's how to rub salt in the wound You guys, welcome back to your favorite crochet channel I'm back with another tutorial and I hope you're excited. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to make this top with this little checkered kind of vibe. I made a black version of it. Maybe you've already seen it on my Instagram. If not, if you're not following, make sure to leave some love there. Um, I'm sharing a lot of my crochet progress there. And, um, and yeah, there's nothing else to say other than I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I hope you can understand everything. I'm trying my best to explain it as good as possible. And if you recreate this top, I would love to see your um, recreations. So send me some pictures on Instagram or tag me in your stories and videos. I love to see that. Really, that's the best part about doing tutorials on YouTube is seeing you in my recreations. So have a good day. Have fun with my video, put on your favorite music and let's go! <laughs> so everything you're gonna need is your yarn, whatever color and type of yarn you want to use. But I'm gonna go with this one because it's very light and also very soft. And I'm probably gonna need like two to three of these. And I'm gonna link it down below if you're interested. It's from We Are Knitters. And the hook that I'm gonna use is this one from Prim, it's the 4.0 millimeters. And the first thing that we're gonna do is two times this square. It's gonna be our front and our back part of the top. And it basically is like just two stitches, it's 70 chains. And the two stitches that we're using, like it's actually only one, it's only double crochets, but like in this square, as you can see, we're going to keep um, adding some spaces and here it's just like tight double crochets. And we're going to switch in like every <laughs> square <laughs> and we're going to do six rows of these um, square parts, which is like every square is three rows. But don't worry if you didn't understand because we're going to do it step by step right now. Um, just as a little overview of what we're going to create first. <laughs> so we're going to start off with our slip knot. If you need like any um, more detailed tutorials, I linked like a more detailed tutorial for each step that we're doing down below in the description. So if you're a very beginner and you don't know, like for example, now we're going to do chain ups. If you don't know what it is, don't worry. There are more detailed tutorials linked below where you can have a look. But for now, we're going to start with 70 chain ups. So just chain up for 70. Okay, so now I did my 70 chain ups and this top is going to be a size, I feel like small, medium, like it's a very oversized shirt, but um, you can measure, it should be kind of like a bit bigger than shoulder to shoulder because mm. it's going to kind of like get a bit smaller when we start, like as you can see here, it kind of like got like a bit smaller and this should be like from shoulder to shoulder in the end like this top so if you feel like you need to add some more you can always add five more like it always have to be like dividable through five and if you have your chains in the end we're gonna add another two one two and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip like this one, this one, and this one. And you're gonna go into like the top stitch right here. And so this one counts as your first double crochet like this right here. This is your second. 
this is gonna be your third, fourth, and fifth. Just like that. And now we're gonna start with um, like the next square. And for that, we need to always skip one of these stitches. So you're gonna chain up one and then skip this one and you're gonna add the double crochet, not right here, but there. So you did your double crochet right here, you're gonna skip this one and you're gonna add it to here. One double crochet. And now again, chain up one to skip then this one and add your double crochet right into this one. So that it kind of looks like this. Now another chain up, another skipping this one and adding it to here. And then we're gonna start again with this pattern, but what you have to keep in mind is that this counts as one of the double crochets of these. So now you're only adding four more, so you have five. I hope this makes sense to you, but we're gonna keep adding double crochets into each of the stitches. like this, four double crochets, so that now you have, if you count it, you have one, two, three, four, five, then one, two, three holes, and then another one, two, three, four, five double crochets. So now, again, we're going to go back to this pattern, which means we're going to chain up one, going to skip one of these and add the double crochet right here, chain up one, then skip this one and double crochet right here. Another chain up. Next one's gonna be skipped and we're gonna add it to this chain at this loop and now we have the three holes again so this means we're gonna go back to this pattern so we're gonna add four more double crochets in each of these chain ups we did one two three Four. And it should look like this. And that's what we're gonna keep on doing until we arrive at the end of the row, like right here. <laughs> and we're gonna meet back there. I'm almost at the end and I'm gonna now, um, again, like chain up one, then skip one stitch. Do my double crochet, chain up one, skip one, and again, chain up one, and skip one, and go into this last stitch right here. If you have like one stitch more left or anything or you have one like you're missing one then you can always just um like kind of like keep the two stitches right into this part or like i did here i'm gonna not skip one and go right here so that we have like in the next row everything perfect so don't worry um you don't have to like start from the beginning just like kind of like hide them <laughs> and now we're gonna go 
chain up three, one, two, three, turn around the project and we're gonna <clears throat> chain up three because we're gonna chain up two for this part and then one because of this um, stitch that we're gonna skip right here. So now we're gonna do the double crochet right here and I'm always gonna go like into these kind of like V parts. As you can see, you always have this V on top of your hook. So I'm gonna go always through this little loop and gonna go through this, these two, like this V part on top with the double crochet. Oops. And it's, it's kind of going to look a bit weird, but in the next row, it's going to look like the square again. So now chain up one again and go into like this, like right on top of the double crochet, like right here with your double crochet in the second row, chain up one. And again, we're going to go like into this part, like right on top of the double crochet in the first row. And now we did the second row of our first square and we're gonna go into the second square now with our five double crochets, like four more. <laughs> so always just add them right on top of the double crochet in the first row, like right here. And always through like both of these. And now we're gonna continue with the skipping one stitch and do the double crochet right here. So again, chain up one, not right here, but on top of the double crochet, the first row. Again, chain up one. Go right here with your double crochet and continue. Now we're again at the part where we're not going to chain up one first. We're going to start with the double crochet part for like four more double crochets. And that's what we're going to do until the end of the second row. And then we're going to meet when you're here. Okay, so I'm at the end of the second row. I'm just gonna add the last four double crochets. One, two, three, and the last one is always a bit kind of like complicated and hidden right here. Um, but make sure to get this one because otherwise the pattern won't work out in the end. Mm. Here it is. So make sure to count the last five double crochets. And now chain up two, turn around. And we're gonna start with the double crochets. We're not gonna chain up three because we just need like this double crochet and not on top one to skip one because we're at the part where we're not skipping one, if that makes sense. <laughs> so we're gonna start with another four double crochets. Oops. And now we are at the part where we're skipping one. So chain up one and start with your double crochet right on top of this stitch like right here on top of the double crochet in the last row. Chain up one again, double crochet right on top of the double crochet of the second row and another one right here. So now it should look like this and we're gonna again continue with the same pattern until we are at the end of the row and then we're gonna switch um, the pattern because three rows means um, the square is complete and then we're kind of like gonna do this pattern on top of this and this one right here 
so we have this kind of checkered look. So just keep doing that until the end of the row and then I'm going to show you how to switch the pattern. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do the last chain up and the last double crochet right here. So it should look like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain up two, one, two, turn around the project and we're going to do first double crochet right into this big hole. And the next one is going to go also into this hole. And then something different is about to happen because we're going to go right now with double crochet into this double crochet we did right here through this part and then another one through the big hole. So it means we did double crochets everywhere but here because we only need five of the double crochets because we need like this right here, five double crochets, but because, because we have this one as our first double crochet, we're going to skip one so that we have one, two, three, four, five in the end. And now we're going to go to this pattern, which means we're going to chain up one and we're going to set the first double crochet right here, which means not into this first double crochet, but into the second one right here, then again chain up one, double crochet right, not here, but into the second one, right here, and because we need three of these holes, we're going to chain up another time, and the last double crochet is going to go through this big hole. So, as you can see, it should look like this, which means we have these three holes where this pattern was and we have like the tighter pattern where this one was. And now we're going to continue with this double crochet part, but this time we're going to go in each of the chains. So first double crochet is going to go here. Next one here, next one here, next one here. Because um, this is on our first, here is going to go the second, the third, fourth and the fifth double crochet. So the first double crochet of the five we already did, now we're going to go second double crochet right on top of this one, third one right here. The next one is going to go again on top of this double crochet and the next one right here. And we're going to continue with this pattern switch until the end of the row. So it means now we did five double crochets next to each other. Now we need the these where we skip one. So chain up one, not into first, but the second one, not right here, but here, with the double crochet, chain up one again, double crochet, not here, but there, to the second one, and last one, chain up one, and again, right into this one. So we have these three holes and now this counts as our first of the five double crochets next to each other, which means now the second one's gonna go here, next one right here, next one on top of the double crochet from the last row and the last one right here. Now 
what we would do again is we would go back to this pattern this mashier one <laughs> which means chain up one and go into this one chain up one go into this one chain up one go through this one then again one two three four double crochets which means in the end we have five then again mesh part and so on until we arrive here and then i'm going to explain to you the next part I'm almost at the end. I'm gonna do the last um, mesh part right here, but this time it's gonna be a bit different. Um, we're gonna chain up one and the first double crochet is not gonna go into the second stitch because otherwise it won't work out in the end because the last one has to go here. So the first double crochet is gonna go actually like right here on top of the first double crochet we did of the, in the first, like in this row. And then we're gonna chain up again one, not right here, but into the second one. So then again, we're gonna skip one. And again, chain up one. And now it should work out, like you should have two double crochets right here left. So the last double crochet should go right here. Like this. And now everything just starts like from the very beginning. So we're gonna chain up three because it's again like one where we have to skip one here. So chaining up two, then the one we would add right here, turn everything around and start with the double crochet mesh part, which means again, I'm gonna go for one double crochet right here, then here, then here, then four, right here, and then again, like, you know it by now. <laughs> so, just like that. That's what we're gonna do. Like this, and then, again, with the double crochets that will go next to each other five in total, four, five, and then again, chain up one, double crochet, just like we did in the rows before, and we're gonna do like if this row is finished, we're gonna add another one. So we have again like three of the same order of the pattern. We're gonna go for six of these. And again, I'm gonna show you in the end, but if you want the part to be a bit longer, you can always add some more rows. But yeah, just make sure to continue with this um, to always change the patterns every three rows so that you create these squares and we need six of these squares on top of each other and if you're done with that then we can meet again and start with connecting everything and adding the sleeves so i'm gonna finish my piece now and then we're gonna continue friends i'm almost finished yay make sure that in the end you chain up two before cutting off the yarn. And then when you chained up two, you can just cut the yarn somewhere random. And then you can just slip it through and pull it tight. And then it's it should be like very secure because of the two chain ups. And that's what it should look like. So it should go from shoulder to shoulder, just like this. And just like as an example right now, uh, this top is going to be this long. Like for me, I wanted to create like this, you know, these tops that are like, kind of like, like here and then you wear a top underneath. 
you know <laughs> like these tops that are all over pinterest right now that's what we're doing but if you want it to be longer um you can just add some more rows um, to kind of like i don't know make it end like maybe here or something but for me i want it this short so i'm gonna leave it like that it's six rows and i have two of these i'm gonna use these clips to keep everything in place so we're gonna basically pin the top together on top right now like right here i'm gonna like only close it till here and not till like up here because i want to also be like able to wear it off shoulder um so i'm gonna crochet together up here um, you can also hand sew it or with a machine how you like and then we are going to also close it up for a bit right here because we need like this opening where we're adding the sleeve so let's do that exciting <laughs> okay you guys so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close it off like for me i'm gonna close like these three with these three um if you want you can make sure that you use this side where kind of like the pattern is the exact opposite of this one so like if i would have used this side it would be like the same like the like pattern order you know like here's the like where we skipped one would be right here and this where we didn't skip any stitches would be here but because i used this other side it's going to kind of like keep the pattern going if you know what i mean so then it switches again but how you like and so for me i want to connect these three parts that's enough for me if you want um, it a bit tighter and not that off shoulder than i want to you can always close some more in the end but for now and it's important that when you right now connect these pieces that you always connect one square with this square and then this square with this one so that it kind of like is very much perfectly aligned and for me to make sure that this happens i'm gonna kind of like pin it down for now and now i'm gonna i'm gonna take my yarn i'm gonna connect it with i'm not sure how this stitch is called but um i'm gonna link it in the description but as I already told you, you can also use different stitches. But just make sure that the squares are always next to each other. So, start connecting everything. Um, and then we're gonna meet again when you're finished gonna link some different methods down below on how to connect everything and then I'm gonna show you what you have to connect next because we have to connect some parts on the side first before we can start with the sleeves so connect everything on this side and then of course on the opposite side the same and then let's meet again <laughs> okay you guys i just um finished the second side i connected like these three squares chained up two and now i'm gonna slip everything through pull it tight and now you should have something like this where these sides are connected and now what we're gonna connect is this last square with this one if you did some more rows you have to connect some more but just make sure that this fits like your arm fits through it and it's very loose so it shouldn't be tight around your shoulder it should be very loose and comfy for you so for me i'm gonna connect only one of these squares with this one of the squares on this side and this side and then um we're gonna start with the sleeves. So 
Again, connect this however you want to connect it. If you want to stitch it together by hand, it's fine. If you want to use one of the tutorials that are linked below, go check that out. And if you connected this on this side and on this side, we're going to meet again. Yeah, and it's finally time for the sleeves. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I just connected this first square. Um, and now I'm going to start with the sleeve because the sleeve is going to go here like all the way around in like this sleeve form um, so we're just gonna crochet like around row for row um, until we arrive like right here or wherever you want the sleeve to end um, which means right now we have to again do like this pattern so we're gonna start like right here we did this tighter double crochet part where we didn't skip a stitch so this means here we're gonna do like for these three rows we're gonna go for three um, of these because like we want it to be the opposite pattern so here the a bit more uh, mesh looking part this one and there where the mesh part is um, in this row, in this row we want this part, this pattern. I hope this, <laughs> I hope this made sense. So now I'm gonna chain up three. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna go for a double crochet. I'm gonna go with that double crochet like right here. I hope you can, you can see where this is. It's like here, oops, like right here. For a double crochet then chain up one and the next double crochet I'm gonna go like like right here right here in this part okay see this then the last chain up and double crochet is gonna go right here, right there, just like this. And now we have the first three of these mesh double crochets where we skip one and it should be right where this pattern, like the other pattern was in the row before. So right now we arrived at this one and now for the last one I'm gonna chain up one again and the next double crochet is actually not gonna go here but right in this big hole because we now are going to start with this tighter double crochet pattern again. We have like the mesh one already, these three and we need again five double crochets next to each other and so that it works out in the end, we have to always like do the third double crochet where we skip one, like right into this big hole, so that we now can add like this is our first double crochet. That's where our second, third, fourth, and fifth double crochet is gonna go. And then again the mesh part. So make sure that you added the first double crochet like right into this bigger hole. And now second one's gonna go here. Third one's gonna go through this, through this. Fourth one gonna go right here. One, two, three, four. Fifth one right here. Now we need to go back to this pattern where we're gonna skip one. So Let's skip the first one, add our first double crochet right here. As you can see, this one. Chain up one, add it right here, like there. And our last double crochet again not right here but into this bigger hole 
Now we're going to switch the pattern again to this double crochet where we don't skip one first. So first one to go here, second one's going to go here. Third one right here. Next one right here again. This one. So now we have four next to each other. And now back to chaining up one. First double crochet. Right, like not here, not into the first one, but the second one. Chain up one. Next one's gonna go right here, there, and that's how we're gonna continue until we arrive back at where we started, and then um, I'm gonna show you how to connect and go to the second row. You guys, as you can see, I'm almost at the end, and what you have to make sure of at the end is that this is gonna count as your fifth double crochet, so. This one, where you just finished this pattern where we already, like, always skipped one. Um, this is our first one, this is our fifth one, so now we need three in the middle. Which means, for me, I'm gonna go for one right here, right here, second one right here. And the fifth one is this one, so it means we're gonna connect like right here. Don't pick this one, pick the second loop, second chain up. So that when you connect with a slip stitch, that in the end here is one left. So it should look kind of like this, don't worry if it's a bit weird. It's not going to be this weird in the next rows. So right now, this is our first row and now we're going to chain up two. Actually, we're going to chain up three because that's where we skip one. Chain up three and start with the double crochet right here. And now you're just going to follow the same pattern. So skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet like this. Now back at this pattern, which means not skip one. Just do your double crochets right here. And always switch patterns. Um, and continue for another two rows. So that you end up with three rows of the same pattern and then switch. So I think by now it should be clear <laughs> on what to do. If not, you can always have a look back at the body part um, if you don't know where to like put your double crochets have a look back at that but for now I would say we're gonna continue to do as many rows as you need until you arrive right here and then you have to do the exact same but on the other side so have fun while doing that and I'm gonna do the same right now <laughs> because I want to finish this as soon as possible um, so see ya with hopefully the finished product later <laughs> You guys, I'm about to finish the top. Yay! I'm just like gonna finish the last few double crochets and then it's done. It looks so weird, but hopefully it looks good on. <laughs> so let's do the last few stitches together. Um, then I'm gonna sew in my labels. I'm currently watching a tutorial for that. <laughs> Never done that before, but let's try it. And then I'm gonna show you the final product. So you guys, I always tried it on in between and I ended up with 
12 or 13 of the squares, I'm not that sure. I think I did 13 now, but probably gonna change back to 12 because in the black top that I did, um, like a different version of this. I only did 12, but now I did 13, so let's see. Sleeves are a bit longer now, but um, you can always adjust it in the end. So now I'm gonna do the last one, two, three double crochets. Now, slip stitch to right here. Slip it through, chain up two. Cut off the yarn, slip it through and pull it tight. That's how I like to secure like my ends. And now what I want to do is I have I made like some labels I can show you. And I love them so much. They're like like this one and this one. So I'm gonna watch a tutorial now on how to do this. We'll link it for you down below. Um, because I would love to from now on add labels to my pieces because I think it looks so cute like just imagine like this on the back of the top and then like this on the sleeve like folded <gasps> I think it's gonna look so cute and I'm gonna hand sew it You guys, I think I did it. Let's just pray that this stays where I want it to stay. First label's on. Now, like this is on the back. Ah! Oh my god, so cute. And now I'm gonna put one like right here where my left sleeve is. Guys. This is it, it's so cute. I think, I feel like I could have like put it like a bit more down there, but I kind of also like that it's a bit more like up there, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow, I'm so good at explaining. <laughs> um, oh my God, let's finish. Let's try it on. From far away she looks so good. Grew up in the same neighborhood. That's out of rough salt in the wound Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong You guys, this is it. This is the final top. I hope you're happy with your recreation. And I hope you made it the tutorial without any troubles and that you were able to understand everything i tried my best <laughs> um and i hope you liked the video if you did make sure to leave some love in the comments and if you want to see some other crochet tutorials from me make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything and if you want to you can also follow me on my socials i have a crochet in instagram channel and the private instagram channel so if you want to see my daily life <laughs> you can also have a look there and i would love to see your recreation so make sure to slide into my dms with some pictures or tag me in your stories i always love to see that i swear that's the best part about doing tutorials is seeing your recreations so yeah i hope you're having an amazing rest of the day and see you in the next tutorial. <laughs> Bye!